Kathy Griffin is an American actress and comedian who has a net worth of $40 million. Kathy Griffin first starting breaking through thanks to roles on the sitcoms Seinfeld and Suddenly Susan. She is also notable for being the star of the two-time Emmy-winning reality series, Kathy Griffin, My Life on the D-List. During her 30-plus year career, Kathy herself estimates that she has earned north of $75 million from her various endeavors. In an interview in late 2018, Kathy Griffin revealed her personal estimation of her net worth to be around $32 million, somewhat depending on the value of her real estate holdings. Early Life Born November 4, 1960 in Oak Park, Illinois, Kathleen Mary Griffin grew up in the Chicago suburb of Oak Park, Illinois. Kathy is one of five children born to first-generation Irish-Americans Mary and John Patrick Griffin. Griffin's brother Gary and her sister Joyce both tragically passed away from cancer. Her eldest brother Kenny was a drug addict and homeless and was violently and sexually abusive towards Kathy. During high school, she sought refuge in musical theater, starring in productions of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying and Fiddler on the Roof. She decided she wanted to become a professional actor when she was a senior and appeared as an extra on a Chicago White Sox commercial, after which she was signed with several Chicago talent agencies. Real Estate In November 2018, she sold one of her homes, a five-bedroom property in the Hollywood Hills, for $4.49 million. That's $1 million shy of the original listing price, but a good chunk more than the $2.85 she paid for the house a decade earlier. From 2016 to 2020, Kathy's primary residence was a 13,000-square-foot mansion in Bel Air that she purchased in 2016 for $10.85 million. Her former next-door neighbors in Bel Air were Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. In September 2020, she listed this home for sale for $16 million. Kathy sold the home in December 2020 for $14 million. The buyer was revealed to be Lily Galici. Lily first became famous as one of the stars of the reality TV show Shaws of Sunset. She later earned a fortune thanks to Lily Lashes, an eyelash company that reportedly generates $15 plus million per year in revenue. Around the time of her Bel Air sale, Kathy plunked down $9 million on a newly constructed modern Malibu mansion on two acres. Personal Life In 2001, Griffin married Washington, D.C. native Matt Maline. The marriage lasted until 2006. On an episode of Larry King Live, Griffin accused her husband of stealing $72,000 from her. Griffin was romantically linked to Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak when they attended the 2007 Emmy Awards together. The couple confirmed their involvement in early 2008, and by June 2008 it was confirmed that they were no longer dated. In 2011, Griffin announced on Howard Stern's radio show that she was romantically involved with actor and former NFL practice squad player Isaiah Mustafa. Griffin also says she was in a four-year, private relationship with a man she would not publicly identify, saying only that he was a regular guy with a regular job, and it was a messy breakup. It was later revealed that the mystery man was Griffin's tour manager, who had appeared on several seasons of My Life on the D-List. Griffin was in a relationship with marketing executive Randy Bick from 2012 to 2018. The pair reconciled in April 2019 and were married in January 2020 in a ceremony officiated by comedian Lily Tomlin. Griffin is an advocate for LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, rights and causes. She is known for her conversational type humor on such subjects like celebrities, religion and sexuality. Her comedic influences are Joan Rivers and Don Rickles. Career Griffin moved to Los Angeles in 1978 at age 18, and studied drama at the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. Here she became a member of the improvisational comedy troupe The Groundlings. She began performing stand-up comedy and became part of the alternative comedy scene in Los Angeles. Along with Janine Garofalo, Griffin started a stand-up night called Hot Cup of Talk, which became the title of her 1998 solo HBO special. In the 1990s, Griffin started landing guest-starring roles on various TV shows. She appeared in Showtime's Medusa, dared to be truthful, and made her television sitcom debut on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She also appeared on Law and & Order, Special Victims Unit, and Glee. From 2005 to 2010, Griffin starred in her own reality show, Kathy Griffin, My Life on the D-List, which followed her quest to climb the Hollywood ladder. On May 30, 2017, 
Griffin posted a video of herself to her Twitter and Instagram accounts holding a mask style to look like the severed, bloody head of President Donald Trump. She later took down the image and apologized. In May 2017, Griffin was dropped from her gig as a spokesperson for Squatty Potty due to the photograph. As a result of the photos, she was also under federal investigated by the Justice Department for two months and was put on the no-fly list during that time, as well as on the Interpol and Five Eyes list, and had been detained at every airport during her Laugh Your Head Off, a reference to the infamous Trump photograph. Thanks for watching Lifestyle Channel. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe below.